Avengers Assemble! Second news item is, uh, why don't you lead into that? Well, okay, we have Don Cheadle, the Officially guy attached now, there was, you know, will War Machine be in it? He's gonna be in the Avengers He's movie officially in, in the Avengers movie, so And, you know what, who... See. Great. Who, who else is in it? Well, we also have Sam Jackson as Nick Fury. Samuel L. Jackson. Does anybody say naughty. his name not Samuel L.? Like, really? No, it's I always don't think Samuel so. Jackson. Of course, Robert Downey Jr. as Iron Man. I mean, who, you know, he's the coolest man on the planet. Pretty much. Uh, uh, Clark Gregg as Agent Phil Coulson, the kind of behind the scenes. Nick Fury's like right hand man mm -hmm. throughout the Iron Man movies mm -hmm. and in the uh, uh, Incredible Hulk, right? Yeah. Yep. Or I think he made an appearance in the Incredible yeah. Hulk. He's been in the Iron Man's though for yep. sure. I mean, look for him. You'll recognize him. Jeremy Renner, who was in the Hurt Locker and was up for uh, Oscar noms, uh, etc. Definitely a quality um, high as Hawkeye actor. Um, also, somebody that. When we first covered the Avengers, we weren't sure if he would be in it. It was just rumor at that point, but it's and official. as a little note, he doesn't have a movie that's coming out before the Avengers. I don't even know, as we were looking stuff up, uh, possibly a movie after the Avengers, but up until then he will not have his own solo movie. So this mm -hmm. will be the first appearance of Hawkeye. Yeah, which should be interesting. Mm -hmm. um, Scarlett Johansson um, uh, is going to be the Black Widow. She was seeing in Iron Man 2. Mm -hmm. And uh, Chris Hemsworth as Thor, which we covered in a previous episode. Uh, Chris Evans as Captain America, and surprise of the century. Uh, yeah, <laughs> um, Edward mm -hmm. Norton ended up. Uh, he dropped out. Um, he is no the Hulk, for sure. Officially not the Hulk. Uh -huh. And reprising his role is none other than Mark Ruffalo, who is a terrific actor, one of my favorites. Um, Look for him in Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. He was in Shutter Island. Um, gosh, Zodiac. Um, he's just a great actor, and uh, I think that he'll be a great Bruce Banner, great Incredible Hulk. Mm -hmm. I think that Edward Norton was great, but I'm even more excited because I love Mark Ruffalo, and he's awesome. And as a little technical side note, something that's kind of cool that they're doing with the Avengers is they're actually motion capturing the Hulk. Um, so yeah. it'll be Mark Ruffalo will actually be playing right. the Hulk. He'll be wearing that suit with all like the light bulbs mm -hmm. on it and doing the motions of the Hulk as mm -hmm. opposed to being completely CGI. All CGI, yeah. Which so, I think is great. I think that'll be as awesome. much more like, like I love the Incredible Obviously Hulk, but, you like, couldn't call that a practical effect, but as much of the person that you can put in there. It'll be a lot more of his own mannerisms yes. and such. So. This is Superman! This is Superman! Superman! That was good. Uh, Zack Snyder will be directing Superman Man of Steel, the Superman reboot. Uh, okay, mm, he's hating on I don't it. know. I have, I have mixed feelings. I, I've seen 300 and Watchmen. I haven't seen that owl movie. That <laughs> Legends of the movie. Guardians, the Owls of Gahul. But uh, I thought 300 and Watchmen, at the very least, were compelling, and the directing was interesting. Uh, I do not think it fits the character or world of Superman I at all. I agree. But, with, as we have discussed also in previous episodes, uh, Christopher Nolan helming the project. Not I helming think the project. He's producing... Sorry, when I say helm, I mean the director. He's producing and, like, has his hand in the works. Oh, okay. Um, Sorry. Christopher Nolan is, like, up in his business, and he's going to be, I think... All if... opinion. <laughs> Hood Nathan makes an appearance on this episode. <laughs> anyway. Um, but I think with his uh, kind of direction over the director, mm -hmm. uh, we'll have an interesting feel, and I think that it has a lot of potential. And also with uh, David Goyer and oh, I'm sure. uh, Jonathan Nolan writing the script, mm -hmm. I think that also has yeah. a lot more potential than yeah. Watchmen or 300, which I'm not hating on those movies, but mm -hmm. just with the style that uh, yeah. Superman is. In the yeah, style sure. Of um, just quickly, um, General Zod is, is going to be the villain. No Lexi, no Brainiac, no blah blah blah. General Zod. So I think that's an interesting choice. A yeah. little more obscure. Uh, no Brandon Routh. Ruth? Routh? Routh. Routh. Okay. So, yep. Routh. so he won't be reprising the role that he played in Superman Returns. I thought he was great, but you know, if you're going to reboot, you may as well reboot it the whole way and just not have Brandon Routh. 
Makes I don't sense. have a problem with it. No, I think it'll be definitely interesting to see where they go with that. Mm -hmm. We'll keep you posted. Let's cut right there. Okay. I thought that was really good. I thought <laughs> that, that was, was a really, really good take. Yeah.